Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve problem 29 from the 2016 Math Kangaroo grades 5 to 6. Here's the problem. A little kangaroo is playing with his calculator and he starts with the number 12 and multiplies or divides the number by 2 or 3, um, if it's possible, 60 times in total. Which of the following results um, can he not obtain? And then we have the results. So we can start looking at them and trying to see if we can obtain them or not. So the first one is 12. 12 is the number we start with. And we have to do something to it 60 times. But we could do, for example, 12 times 2 divided by 2 times 2 divided by 2, and so on, until we have 60 um, of these times 2 divided by 2s here. And each of those would just give us times 1, and that would leave us with 12. And 60 is an even number. So there would be 30 times and 30 divided, and so it would even out. And so now we can notice something here. If we take a number, um, any number, if we get to a number and we have an even number of um, operations left that we can do, we can get that number again at the end just by doing something like multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2, or multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3. So really, we don't have to check um, if we can get to all these numbers by doing 60 things to it, we can just check if we can get to those numbers by doing any even number of things. Um, then we can fill up the rest of the things with just times 2 divided by 2. And if it's an odd number that it takes to get to that particular number, well, then we can't do that because um, there would be an odd number left to make sure we get back to the same number. And just by multiplying by 2 or dividing by 2, and multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3, we can't get back to the same number with an odd number of moves. So let's start looking at this, 18. And one way we can figure out how many moves it takes is by looking at the prime factorization for these numbers that aren't 12. So we know that 12 is equal to 2 squared times 3, 4 times 3. And this is the prime factorization of 12. And this is in terms of 2s and 3s, so we'll know if we look at the other prime factorizations um, how many 2s we'll have to multiply by or divide by and how many 3s we'll have to divide by. So 18 is 2 times 3 squared. So to get from 12 to 18, we'll have to divide by 2 and multiply by 3. Because that will give us from, one, from 2 2s here to 1 2 and 1 3 to 2 3s. And that's two moves. That's an even number. And so we can get 18. Let's look at 36. 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared. So to get from 12 to 36 here, all we have to do is multiply by 3. That's an odd number of steps we have to take. So it looks like we might not be able to do 36. We probably can't do that. But we can still check and make sure we can do the others just to be absolutely sure. 72 is 2 cubed times 3 squared. And when we go from 12 to 72, what we would have to do here is multiply by 2 and multiply by 3. And 108 is 2 squared times 3 cubed. So to go from here to here, we would have to um, multiply by 3 twice. So that's two steps, that's two steps, and um, going to 18 is two steps. 36 is only one step, so we can't do that. Thank you.